Hey guys, what's up? Reactions here. I just wanted to quickly go over uh, custom transitions, and uh, usually this is text-based, or you can use a clip-based also. It helps sometimes. Um, I just think it's a good technique to have, so you don't have to rely on built-in transitions for like Vegas or After Effects or something. Because personally, I think they look really bad and make your video look kind of, yeah, I don't know, just not as good as what it could be if you were making your own transitions. So first things first, we're going to have two uh, video tracks, insert two text medias, I'm just going to split these to make them a bit smaller, and let's go to about here, sure, and now you see we'll have our two text here, text, te god damn it, two text here, and uh, I'm just going to rename this one to custom, and the second one to transition just because and we're gonna go into our pan slash crop here and just zoom it in slightly go ahead like three frames move it move it you don't have to do this I just think it makes it look a bit cooler alright and you're gonna wanna go about four frames from before the end of the clip so one two three four that's where I'll put the last keyframe then we're gonna go to the end zoom in and move it somewhere to the corner one of the corners doesn't really matter which one let's put it here I'm gonna copy this last keyframe and go to my next text and paste that there and it'll start off there then we're gonna go ahead about four so one two three four position it near the center somewhere zoom out and then go then then just do the shakes again. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and there. And now you'll see we have something look like this, and it still looks kind of bad. So what we're gonna do is make a blur on it. I have a custom blur here. It's 221 for the angle and just 200 for the the amount. So we're gonna drag this keyframe here all the way to the end. Go back about five frames. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, I'll go about, yeah, I'll go five and set this to zero. And we're gonna drag this also onto the last one and move ahead about five, six frames. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's good enough. And drag that to zero. And now you'll see we'll have something look that looks sort of like this. And it kind of looks a lot better. And uh, of course, it'll look better than this since I'm in, uh, not in the best settings, but it's gonna look something like that. And it kind of looks cool. And it looks better than built-in transitions, so I think there's a lot you can do with this and customize it your own way and make it how you want. So yeah, if this helped you guys, remember to leave a like if you want to and subscribe for more tutorials. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, leave a comment, send me a PM. I'll make a tutorial as soon as I can on it. So uh, see you guys later.